Have you ever read or listened to a story that you loved so much that you wanted to defend it from any possible criticism or protect the author from critics? This next one will have you laughing while proceeding to break your heart just a little. Welcome to Audiobook Reviews in 5. This is Jana, also known as Yana. And today I'm reviewing Everything Sad is Untrue, a true story written and read by Daniel Nayuri. Don't let the young adult or YA fiction marketing fool you. This autobiographical story is unforgettable and best appreciated by those with some life experience. In a nutshell, Daniel, the author and narrator, flees from Iran as a small child, detours through a refugee camp in Italy, and then winds up in middle school in Oklahoma, where he puts on his best impression of legendary storyteller Scheherazade in the tradition of 1001 Nights, all while attempting to convince his classmates of his true identity, even as he's trying to make sense of his patchwork memories and redefine himself. Daniel introduces himself to listeners in earnest, saying, I am ugly and I speak funny. I am poor. My clothes are used and my food smells bad. I pick my nose. I don't know the jokes or stories you like or the rules to the games. I don't know what anybody wants from me. But like you, I was made carefully by a God who loved what he saw. Like you, I want a friend. Well, with an opening like that, I was intrigued. Listening to this story is a bit like hearing a charming friend relay the highlights of their life and culture interspersed with open-ended questions about the meaning of life and fragments of memory. I laughed out loud a few times, but this is not all sunshine and rainbows. Tragic details about bullying, domestic violence, and refugee life are casually dropped almost as afterthoughts, while the simple joys of stuffed animals, chocolate bars, and Twinkies spark joy for Daniel in a way that I'm sure Marie Kondo never could have imagined. Aside from what has to be described as a generous serving of poop references, including the observation, if you want to know how rich somebody is, just look at what they eat and how they poop, which is followed by a fairly compelling argument against toilet paper in favor of bidets, this story delivers poignant and profound insights that younger readers might miss. As Daniel says, what you believe about the future will change how you live in the present. I found myself stopping and replaying sections to process and absorb the full impact of Daniel's memories, each delivered with the frenetic energy of a lively conversation. It's as though Nairi has some magical power to see his life experience exactly as he did as a child, but tell it with the vocabulary and impact of a master storyteller. There's a vulnerability and depth to Daniel as a narrator that balances childhood curiosity with a self-awareness of what it means to weave one's own identity. Looking back at his experiences at the end of the story, Daniel muses, quote, When did all these words begin? Are they all just distant memories we are passing to each other? And what if, like a Persian rug, they are flawed? Memories are just stories we tell ourselves, after all. What if we are telling ourselves lies?" The criticism of this book seems to be that the material is heavy, or that the story meanders and there isn't a structured plot, but I chalk those comments up to YA fans looking for a predictable or easy read. I say, if you want a true story that will enrich and deepen your understanding of what it means to be human at any age, this is it. That's all for this episode of Audiobook Reviews in 5. Thanks for listening. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe to Audiobook Reviews in 5 on your favorite platform. By subscribing, you help increase the profile of this podcast and chances of other listeners finding it. I look forward to checking in with you all again soon. 
Please stay safe and be well.